Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here at Ipsy Studios. I'm collaborating on a video. I was in San Francisco for Gen Beauty and then I flew down and now I'm in Santa Monica and decided to stop by their studios and film a video. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you this month's glam bag, which is like a cute little ombre little moment right here. I'm gonna do a really simple tutorial. I know you guys have been liking that like kind of easy, monochromatic thing I've been doing recently. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And let's just get right into the video. So the first product in this month's glam bag is this First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser. It's got red clay in it and it's gonna remove a lot of excess oil. It's gonna unclog your pores. It's just gonna make your skin nice and clean. It's a gel cleanser, as you can see. Next product in the glam bag is this Formula 1006 Pores Be Pure Skin Clarifying Mud Mask. This is gonna, once again, unclog some pores. It's got berry boosters that are gonna help do that. I'm just gonna mainly put this on my nose and focus it where my pores are really clogged, especially from traveling. They've been pretty nasty. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna put this on all of this area and let it dry. And then after this, my skin is gonna be nice and ready for makeup. So now that my skin is nice and prepped, I'm gonna prime my skin with this Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Primer. Been using this for so long, you guys know. It's just, it just gets my skin like right there and ready for foundation and concealer and all that good stuff. All right, so I tried this foundation once before, before I left and I wasn't crazy about it, but I really wanna give it another try. It's the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation, yeah. I feel like the reason I didn't like it was because I was using a weird powder with it and I think it was the powder I didn't like. That's why I'm giving it a second try, just because I definitely didn't like that powder. I tried it with other stuff and I was like, no. And I'm gonna blend this in with the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. Do you guys see this right here? How the foundation looks like it just lifted right off the skin. So that's really weird. I'm using a beauty blender because I figured it would just help blend it, but I don't know what's up with this foundation. I'm gonna go in with the second layer and then if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wait. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just mix these two concealers. This one is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer, and this one is the Tarte Shape Tape. The liquidy along with the really like pasty type of concealer just goes really well. And I'm gonna add a lot of this just because, um, like I said earlier, the foundation seemed to be lifting off my skin, so I'm just gonna add a little bit extra. Okay, so real quick, I'm just going to do a little bit of a cream contour just because I'm trying to add as much cream products as possible right now just because I'm not crazy about this foundation. It's not terrible, it just isn't my favorite. So I'm gonna use the iconic London one that I told you guys I've been loving so much. So one little tip is when you're blending in your cream contour, it's really smart, at least for me, I found to blend inwards into your hairline and then in circular motions. And that is gonna give you the most natural finish just because it's not gonna have any seams. You don't wanna have like a little block right here where you can see the foundation. And it just, it, trust me, it'll look much better if you blend inwards rather than outwards. So I was telling you guys about how I hated that last powder, but this one, I mean, I didn't hate it. Just, just didn't work for me. This is the Too Faced, uh, I don't even know what this is called, but it's the Too Faced setting powder. And I've been loving it. It's really similar to the Laura Mercier one. Why I don't just get the Laura Mercier one, I don't know. So I'm just gonna set my under eyes um, around my nose, a little bit of my chin, and that's probably it. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is my brows. I'm just gonna do that off camera because it's much easier. You guys are probably gonna be so bored. And then um, I'll see you in like zero seconds. All right, so I got my brows on. I've got some eye primer on, which is just the usual MAC Paint Pot. Um, I set that with the, um, not Laura Mercier, the Too Faced powder that I was using earlier. Next thing I'm gonna do is take this Catrice highlighting powder in the shade Champagne Campaign. And you guys know I've been using Catrice for a long time, but this one is coming from the Ipsy bag. It is a soft and velvety powder. It's gonna leave a nice radiant glow on your skin. It's gonna be soft. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take just a little bit and I'm just gonna put it kind of all over since it's gonna be a nice light glow and my skin is like honestly so gross right now because of all the traveling and everything. So just a little bit on the nose, forehead, and cheeks. So now we're gonna move on to the eyes and I'm gonna do something really, really simple. I think I'm gonna use like 
two or three shadows today. So first I'm gonna go in with the Balm Nude Beach Palette. I think I'm only gonna take the shade Bold, which is this one right here. Hopefully it's not too bold. <laughs> and I'm just going to lightly put this in my crease area. And that's about it. Like seriously, just the tiniest bit. All right, so another product from the Ipsy bag is this little shadow called Be A Bomb, well, it's by Be A Bombshell Cosmetics, and it's called Taj Mahal. So it's like a gold toned shadow. <laughs> that noise, do you like that noise? Okay, so it's got a smooth and creamy um, finish or formula, I'm trying to get it opened, but I did swatch this earlier and it's nice, smooth and creamy. It's got a nice color payoff, if I could get it out of the packaging. So what I'm gonna do with this shade is just be nice and gentle with it. I'm gonna do just like a light wash of it on my entire lid. Like I said earlier, it's gonna be a really simple look. And I'm just going to swipe this along my lid space. I'm putting a really light touch with this shadow right now, so you could definitely build up this color and make it a lot more bold. But like I said, I want it to just be something really casual and easy. Okay, so going back into this, um, the Balm palette, I'm gonna take the same shade we used earlier, which is called Bold, and I'm just going to do a really subtle bit on my lower lash line. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is take this Steve Laurent Precision Tip Black Liner. It's a little felt tip, and it's gonna have a true black color, which is like something that not all of them have these days. I'm going to glide nice and easy with this felt tip liner. Yeah, look at that. So this is gonna last all day and look nice and fresh. All right, so just threw on some lashes and mascara. These are, oh my God. I'm so bad at remembering these lash names. I can't even remember what lashes these are called, but I will link them in the, in the in the description. <laughs> and um, now I'm gonna bronze up my face and I'm gonna use the Bahama Mama bronzer from um, The Bomb, which is like a really bronzy bronze for me. Like it's not just like a subtle, it's like a legit type of bronzer. So I'm gonna bronze up my face and get myself nice and um, orange. Just kidding, not orange. Okay, so to give myself like a blingin' type of highlight, I'm going to use the Tarte Pro Glow palette. I'm gonna mix the shade Stunner with the shade Lit. And I'm not gonna go too crazy because like I said, I'm going on an airplane after this. I don't wanna be too extra, but a little bit extra because that's just me. This stuff smells like chocolate. It smells good. I said this was overrated in my one video, but recently I've fallen in love with it. So maybe it's not so overrated. So it's the Milani Luminoso if you didn't already know. And I'm just gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead just so that there's some balance there. For lipstick today, I'm gonna try this one out. I've never used it before. It is the Meet Matte Hues from The Balm in the shade uh, Charismatic. I'm hoping that I'm really gonna like this. I feel like I'm going to, but you never know. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks again to all of the brands that filled up this Ipsy bag. And thank you to Ipsy for having me film here today in this lovely setup. I'm sure you guys are like, please film here every time because it's so much better. I mean, that's how I feel. But um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos every single week. So um, yeah, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, anyways. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.